Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ben the Elite here, back again, doing a new video. So today, uh, I tried to fit everything into one frame and it couldn't, as you can tell, look at all that. But as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing the top 10 figures of 2020. Now this is my personal opinion, this is not a fact, this is an opinion, so if you don't like my list, leave your own down below, or if not, just don't bother. My opinion, my list, you're going to disagree with some of them, you're going to agree with a lot of them, hopefully. <laughs> if not, well this is going to be awkward. So I'm going to do three honorable mentions. Now the honorable mentions of why I'm doing three of them is because one's a tag team and one's a single figure. figure. Um, Elite 80 Roll Raiders. I like the tattoos on Eric a lot. I, I have this little um, piece on him. His little chest piece, shoulder piece. And then Ivo, of course, because Ivo is good too. Of course, Ivo, he's just as good too. Uh, I like the tattoos on Eric a lot. And the headpiece just fought off, so hold on. And then for my second honorable mention and my last honorable mention will be Braun Strowman, the top picks. Uh, the reason why this is on here because of cloth shirt and the head scan. I don't know. I really like this figure. It's a very basic blonde figure. Blonde doesn't really have the best figure, so I figured eh, I'll put it on an honorable mention. So now on to the actual list. Now this number ten is gonna probably be the most divided. I think the first, I think all the way up to number three is gonna be people divided. Is Elite seventy nine Rio Sorrell. I love it, Mark. I have it mocked, and I have it loose. That's how good the figure is. I love it in its packaging, but I also love the jacket. I love the attire. I think this is like a jumpsuit. I'm not quite sure, but I love it. It's a great figure. Uh, it's probably one of the best woman figures that came out in the whole year, in my opinion. And the head scan's all right. I, I'm not like the biggest fan of it, but I love it for the jacket and the attire. So that is number 10, is Elite's... Was this 82? I think this is just the wave that just came out. Because I don't have 83 yet in my hand, but I have 82. So Elite 82, Finn Bauer. This is a pretty basic figure, but I like the articulation in it. And I'm so glad that we have a good Finn Bauer in our collections. I don't know what it is, but Finn Bauer has some of the best figures. I think the Summer Swim figure that came out of Mankind is like one of the best figures ever. So I really like a lot of Finn's figures. And I know a lot of people are putting this like in their top three, but this to me is, you know, top low 10 just because it's new. Because sometimes new figures will be higher up just because it's new, so you gotta give them some time to wear off on you. So, number eight, this is gonna really be a shock because I think some people put this even in their top threes as well, is the Elite Eddie Guerrero Legends figure. Uh, I said the Elite, but the Legends figure. Uh, I love this figure, but the reason why it's kind of lower compared to a lot of these other figures, especially the ones that are going to be in the top 10, especially the ones that are going to be in the top 5, because it only comes with one accessory. It comes with the, the, the cloth shirt. So if it came with like a title or something, I think it would be a little bit higher. Like I would probably put this as a like top 5, but since so it only came with the cloth uh, shirt, and I love the head skin, I love the tights. Unfortunately, it just made top 10, but not top 5. So, number 7. This one, I said it was, which was my first ever review on the channel, is the Decorative Dominance Taker. This is a nice figure. Uh, it comes with a lot of accessories. Why this is actually kind of lower, even though it's my favorite from the Decorative Dominance, is because of the fact that I believe, uh, with the engines crates, whatever the, the series was called, I think they did a taker very similar to this. So it's not like a new taker. It's not like a new taker that we've never had. Um, but we've had a taker like this before. But I think this is a good redo. Uh, especially for those people that don't have that taker. Like me. So. Yeah. Glad that I own this. I'm sure there's some slight differences. Um, so now at number six. We got the Becky Wrench Ultimate Edition. So why this is actually number six and not higher is because I didn't do the head swap. Um, I did not do a head swap whatsoever. I don't like this head scan 
as you can tell, the, the makeup, it's just the eyes. I, I think it's the eyes. It's, nothing else bothers me but the eyes. But it comes with a lot of accessories. I love this Becky as is. It's a little loose in the feet, but other than that, it's a good figure in my opinion. And if you're really that mad about the head, uh, the head scan, you can switch it with the Elite 72 Becky, which I think a lot of people do. Um, but I'm not doing that. I think it's fine as is. And it's the lowest link in Ultimate Edition in my whole top 10. So that's to s a hint to what's to come. Here it is. We're at the halfway mark now. And it is top 5. So number 5 is going to be Bianca Belair. This just came out in 81 as well. Uh, there's one other elite in this video that I'm going to be showing in a moment, and then you can see it in the background. But I love this figure a lot because it comes with a cloth jacket. Well, it's not cloth. It's, um, I don't know what fabric it's made out of, but it has a really good jacket. Um, as you can tell by the back, there's a good detail. I love the attire. I love the head scan smile. I love that they actually did her, like, ponytail. Uh, and the cams of grasses. So this is a good figure, and I would say it's... And I would say it's one of the best elites that came out in 2020. But this one, I think people are forgetting about that came out. Now, the head scan's a little off, but coming at number four is Matt Little. This is probably my favorite figure of the year, just because, yeah, the head scan's a little off. Like, he, he, <laughs> the head scan's a little off. But I love the attire, I love the white, I love the, the smile and head scope, I love that it comes with the sandals and the jacket. They made everything with this figure, and it's the Matt Little 78. I just love it, it's one of my favorite elites that came out. I think a lot of people are forgetting about this figure, and I think this is a hidden gem. So, coming in at number 3, is the Ultimate Edition Fiend. So, the Ultimate Edition Fiend, I would say this is probably the best Fiend that came out all year. Um, in my opinion, I know a lot of people like the top picks, but the 77 Fiend, I do not like. And the Firefly Funhouse Fiend, uh, Boy Wyatt, that came out from Ringside, I don't even own. Like, that's like one of my worst figures of the year, and I don't even own it. Like, why would I buy a figure just to shit on it? I don't know. But... I love the Ultimate Edition. Now, there's one thing that I don't like, which is the rubber jacket. I've talked about it. I did a review on it. So, go watch that if you want a more in-depth opinion about it. But I would say this is top three. But definitely not top two. So, number two and number one could literally go any other way. But for me, number two is the Black Resner. This came out earlier in the year, and I feel like this had more time to wear off on me, so maybe the Hulk Hogan Ultimate Edition is maybe just because it's newer, but also because of the hype around it. This figure was meant to come out years ago, but the Black Lesnar, I feel like it's one of the best Ultimate Editions that came out the whole year. We finally, I remember back in the day when Elite 18 Black Lesnar came out, when I was a kid, everyone was so hyped and everything for his figure to come out, and when we saw it, it was just the plain... Black and, uh, black and red, I think it was. I think it was Elite 18 or 19, this figure was. And everyone was a little upset because they didn't have the logos and stuff like that. It wasn't, like, accurate. But now we finally have gotten an accurate black Lesnar with articulation. So we got the logos, we got Super City shirt, tattoos, we got World Heavyweight Champion, well, Universal Championship, excuse me, and a hat. So I really like this figure. To me, this is top two worthy even number one. I think this could go either way. And for number one is the Hulk Hogan Ultimate Edition. I forgot what series this is, so don't hold me to it. But uh, I love this figure. The hype around it has been for real. And this figure was meant to come out way before the Hogan controversy happened. But the Co Hogan controversy happened and this figure was put to the side. Never happened. No one thought it was going to see the light of day. And now Hogan's back. Now they released the figure. And they even made it better. Like, it's actually worth the wait. Like, the articulation, it's not loose. And they gave accessories. I think back in the day, it was only supposed to have the weight, the weight belt, which you can't really see, but it, you can see it's right there. But, it, you know, you can't really see it because of the, um, the, th the, the thing around his neck. But, um... 
and I think it was supposed to come with the World Heavyweight Championship with NWO on it. Um, but they gave us a lot. They gave us a cross NWO shirt. They gave us the Ho Hollywood Hogan band, glasses, the weight belt, and the World Heavyweight Championship. So I'm glad with this figure. This figure is definitely worth picking up. Like the forty dollars that it is for this figure is worth it to me. This is number one figure of the year, and I think this is going to be a lot of people's figure of the year. But yeah, I love this figure. It's really good. I think if you could, go cop it. So, thank you guys for watching. As always, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, um, drop a like. But if you didn't, and you, you, know, you disagree with me, tell me what is your list down below if you got to this part of the video. Um, I'm really curious, and also, do you guys want me to do a top 10 worst figures of the year? I don't own all the worst figures of the year, I own, like, maybe, like, a few of them, because, like, figures I don't really typically like, I don't own, but, yeah, so, leave a comment section down below if you want to see that, and thank you guys for watching.